Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Hello, this is Cool Dude Clem here. And now my electronic parts have arrived, I'm going to do some more high voltage experiments. I'm going to try to make a frequency modulated singing arc and a half bridge driver. Of course I don't know if either of these are going to work, but... As I'm making them, they probably won't, but let's see if it works. Now what you're looking at here is a schematic of a half-bridge driver. Now I did not design this. this, this was designed by Jan Martis or Jan, I don't know how you pronounce it, but there's a couple of problems with this. One thing, it mentions that I should use back-to-back -back Zener diodes to protect the gates of the MOSFETs, which is quite understandable, but it doesn't say where I should put them. However, I do know that they should go between here and here, and here and here. And there's a major bottleneck that I've run into. I do not have a gate drive transformer. And I'm not going to be able to make the one that's mentioned here because I don't have a 4 inch ferrite donut core. However, I'm going to take a small transformer like this. I've got quite a few of these which I've ripped out of old circuit boards and that. And I'm going to rewind it and see if I can make a gate drive transformer with one of these. Well, here we are. I've made a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one transformer now. Unfortunately, I had a little trouble disassembling this when I tried to pull the two halves of the ferrite core apart. Disaster! As you can see, it just totally split up. And you might notice that the glue part has stayed completely intact, where the non-glue parts have just completely, almost completely disintegrated on me. But it might still work. I'm going to take this all together and see if I can get anything from it. Got the right amount of turns ratio. So who knows, maybe it will work. Okay, here I have the half bridge driver wired up exactly as it says so in the schematic. And guess what? It doesn't work. So I guess all that time I took gluing this transformer back together was all for nothing. But anyway, I'm going to show you what it does. This is the end of the flyback's high voltage wire. Now when I turn the power on, nothing. But if I bring the wire close, there you can see it arcs. But these are pathetic arcs. I've got better arcs than this off a single MOSFET driver. Look at that, about one centimeter, maybe one and a half centimeters before it dies. So I'm going to try a single MOSFET driver now, using one of my new MOSFETs. I wasn't going to use my new MOSFETs in the half bridge driver, just in case I blew them up. But anyway, you can see I've got one of my MOSFETs on this heatsink. It's a good fan on the back to keep it cool. And yes, there is a thermal pad there as well. So I should get good heat transfer. So let's see how good this works. I have the single MOSFET driver wired up now. As you can see, got the MOSFET. Also remember to put in a reverse voltage spike protection diode, which is a UF4007. And check out the arcs I can get from this. Let's get a bit of a closer look at that. Let's try it at 12 volts. That's working even better. That was probably interfering with the microphone there because I could hear the meters bouncing around. But that's working even better than the half bridge driver at much higher voltage. Anyway, let's increase that voltage a little bit. Let's try it at 22 volts. We just got an arc where I didn't want one. There was one right there, I don't know if I can recreate it. Better do something about that, because that ain't supposed to happen. But anyway, now let's put the voltage up to the full 36 volts. Okay. That wasn't supposed to happen either, but as you can see, we're getting quite a bit quite a lot of arcing. Now that is what I call an arc. Well there's a little bit of a leak problem as you can see, but that is what I call an arc. 
and check out when the wires are closer to each other. Big fat arc, about 4.6 amps. So I say screw half bridge drivers. I'm going with the single MOSFET driver, that worked really good. Anyway, next stop, FM modulated singing arc. So we know this thing works. Connect up the power, and it arcs. I can't really do that for much longer because it's starting to burn my arm, because the heat coming off that is just incredible. So this is the part that I'm going to build now. As you can see, it's a fairly simple circuit. It uses a KA3525 or an SG3525 chip. Couldn't find any KA3525s that were locally stocked, so I got a SG3525, which is the same thing. Also drawn a little picture of the chip for reference, so I know which pins are which. Well, here we are, here's the circuit. Almost built. Now I've double checked and triple checked everything, and everything seems to be where it should be. There are no short circuits or opens where there shouldn't be any. The reason why this potentiometer is connected in a sort of a comical diagonal way is it's only where I could get the pins to line up. So that all that remains now is to solder on the wires and put the chip in, cross my fingers, hold onto my butt and hope it works. Right, well, here it is, all built. I also think it's a good idea to colour code your wires, that way you know what's what. But I'm going to connect this up now to the thing and hope that it works. Well, I am an idiot. I've just wired this up and tried it and it didn't work. Do you know what I've done? I've put the chip in the wrong way round. Could you believe it? I almost burnt myself on it, it got so hot when I touched it. So I might have fried this chip. Anyway, I'm going to turn it round, try it again, and if that doesn't work, well, lucky I ordered two. Well, it would appear that miracles do happen here. I've turned the chip round and tested it, and as you can see, it is working like it should be. Now, I'm having to use my webcam because my camera battery has decided to, it's going to go flat on me, even though when I started recording I was at three bars, now I'm at nothing, and I'm also running out of space on the SD card. But, anyway, the chip did survive. And it is staying nice and cool this time. So the next thing I'm going to do... Excuse me while I step in front of the camera. But turn the power off first. I'm going to attempt to do the singing arc. Which reminds me, I better get a music source ready. Now I've had to disconnect the fan because it's blowing the arc about. But um, I'll give you a little demonstration of it. Let's just start the tape playing and connect up the transformer. Well, it was working. good. And the MOSFET is not even warm. The water is still smoking. Now i just got to work out on how to get it louder. I have adjusted the frequency to get the arc as intense as possible. I might put some kind of horn enclosure around this, try to get that to sound loud. And well, I think that's all going to be in another video because this is probably, this video has probably gone on for like a million hours now. Because I always take too long in explaining things, but anyway, that's it for now, so until next time, goodbye. Well, that's it for this episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Remember, if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe, you'd be glad you did, and tell your friends about Cool Dude Clem and his Electronic Workshop. And, if you want to see the previous episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, click on the box on the right. Or, if you want to see more of my videos, click on me right now to visit my channel. That's just about it for now. I'll see you next time. 
Well, I won't see you next time. But anyway, until next time, goodbye.